Hey guys, so I'm back with another video for you today. Today's video is going to be another fun holiday glitter look. I figured with Christmas right around the corner, I would um, make another video for you using the Makeup Forever Holiday Glitter in the shade number 303. Um, I incorporated that glitter with, um, of course, purples and this really pretty pigment that I used over the lid area. This is called Blue Brown by MAC. Such a pretty color and I figured it would pair good with that glitter. So, um, yeah, I kind of did a more subtle glitter look this time. It's not like packed onto one part of my eye. It's kind of like over the entire eye area. So, yeah, if you want to see how I did this, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I did was prime my eyes with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. You can use any kind of primer that you want. This is just what I used. Next, I'm going to take my Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color rich mahogany and it just looks like this and I am taking just a flat brush like this this is the one that came in the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay and I'm just going to use the flat side and just dip that into there and this color has like browns and golds and every kind of color in it so it's just a really pretty color and I'm just using this as a base so that when I apply my pigment, it'll just stick to that. I'm not going to go too heavy with this, just a little bit to lay down that base. like that and then you can just blend it out with your finger just make sure it's all over that lid don't go higher than the lid not into the crease or anything next thing I'm doing is taking the color blue brown by MAC and it's just a really pretty bluish brown pigment and I'm gonna take a flat brush like this this is the mm, I don't know what brush this is, but it's by MAC. It's just a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to take this right onto my lid. You're going to get some fallout with this, but we can just take that off later. And this color is so pretty. It's just got bluish, brown, purple, like, shimmer going on in it. Love it. Love it. apply a little bit more all over that lid. Don't take this color up into the crease. Just all over the lid. And just pat it. Don't sweep it. Just pat this color onto the lid. Just like that. And if you have any fallout, you can just take a kabuki brush like this and just sweep it off lightly. Next thing I'm going to be doing is taking my um, 217 brush by MAC and I'm going to be taking this color called Nocturnal by MAC. I'm just dipping my brush in here and just lightly sweeping this color right into the crease. Just to marry the two colors together and blend it. I think purple really looks good with this bluish brown pigment. It's so pretty. Alright, the next color I'm going to be taking is Bamboo by MAC. It's just a really soft brown color, like a nude color. I'm just going to blend it right over that nocturnal that we placed down just to sweep out any harsh lines. And I'm just taking it just right here. I'm just softly blending that out. Now I'm going in with that same 217 brush and a darker purple. This is called Sketch by MAC. I'm just taking that in here. 
And I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner of my eye and just to darken that up. Just like that. Okay, now take that same 224 brush, that real fluffy brush, and just kind of blend out any harsh lines that that may have caused. And then for my highlighter shade, of course I'm going in with ABC Gum by Urban Decay. Just going right underneath the eyebrow with this color. And it's also going to soften out everything that we just did. And um, now I'm going to tight line just right above with um, Max Smolder. And then I'm just going to dab this right underneath my lower lash line. Not on the waterline, just underneath. Take it all the way over. You don't have to be too precise with this. Just We're going to blend that out. So now I'm going to go in with that same color, Nocturnal, with the pencil brush. This is um, Sigma's E30. Just go ahead and blend that out. And then I'm going to go in with Sketch. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes. And then I'm going to show you a very subtle way to um, apply the Make It Forever glitter. In my last video, I used the eyeshadow brush like this, and it kind of places the glitter in a more... Um, it kind of brings the glitter together if you just pack it on the lid, but if you use a fluffier brush like this, then you can kind of just dab the glitter on, and it won't be like as intense as just like placing it in one section of your eye, if that makes any sense. Probably doesn't make sense, but I'm just going to show you how to apply it with a fluffier brush like this. So just take the brush into your lid, just dip it in like that, and it's just going to give you like just going to add the glitter to all the hairs of the brush and then you're just going to take the glitter and just pat it all over the lid just all over the place this way it just doesn't place the glitter into one part of the eye it's kind of dispersing the glitter out so that when the light hits it it's just a very subtle shimmer on your eyes and then I'm just going to prime my eyes with I've been really loving this primer. I use it like every day. I think I'm going to have to buy the full size of this. And then I'm using my Tarte Mascara. Just like that. And that is it for the eyes. If you want to see what I did to the rest of my face, then just keep watching. Okay, so for the rest of my face, I just went ahead and used um, the Too Faced bronzer, my favorite bronzer. Just used that in the hollows of my cheeks. And of course, I used my favorite MAC blush, which is Gingerly. Just all over my cheeks. 
And I've been loving this combination lately. I don't know why, but I right over the gingerly I placed the NARS Luster. Just adds a really pretty glow to my cheeks, and it kind of it kind of tones down the color of the gingerly on my cheeks. So, been loving that. And for my lips, I used um, the Urban Decay Naked um, Lip Junkie. Just place that all over my lips, and I recently purchased the Revlon Creme Brulee Lip Butter. I love this. However, on my skin tone, if I just place this onto my lips, it doesn't really, um, it just like kind of washes me out. So if I place like a lip gloss with a tint of color on my lips first, and then I place this over it, it looks so pretty. On lighter skin tones, I think this color will look really pretty, but on me, not by itself. So I just placed um, the Lip Junkie in the color Naked, and then I placed this right over it, and it's super pretty. So that's what I did. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye!